What's up guys? Hybrid Mongoose here and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. And uh, today we're going to be talking about Rayquaza is going to be out tomorrow and what you guys need. This is going to be a guide that to, you know, what you guys need to actually defeat Rayquaza. And Pokemon Go Hub, link will be in the description down below, has put out a great article describing, you know, what's the best counters for Rayquaza. So let's check it out. So as you guys can see here, uh, Rayquaza is uh, the highest CP with, with no weather boost is going to be 2083. 100% IV, that's what to look for. If it's windy weather, it's going to be 2604. Um, and around four to five trainers required to defeat Rayquaza. Like like a, I actually said in a previous video um, that it may be even be able to be three-manned like an Entei was. So hopefully, you know, it is. It'd be actually really cool. Um, so you can actually see the weaknesses here are ice. Ice is going to be the very best thing you can use because it has a two times weakness. And uh, some of the best attackers, obviously, are Articuno, Dragonite, Jinx, uh, Kyogre with Blizzard, uh, Sneasel with Avalanche, Cloyster with Avalanche, and uh, Pillow Swine with Avalanche. A couple other good options are Golem with Double Rock, Tyranitar with Bike uh, Stone Edge, Lapras, which I actually thought should have been higher on the list. That's a kind of amazing. You, you, like, honestly, you would think that Lapras would do better damage than a Cloyster, but I guess not. Um, Frost Breath and Ice Beam. Well, Rayan, uh, Frost Breath and Blizzard, and Garnivore, Confusion, Dazzling Gleam, because it is actually still weak versus Fairy type and Dragon type. So I actually have a, a bunch of Dragonites that already have double, uh, they actually already have double Dragon moves. So that's gonna be perfect. I actually have a 100% Jinx as well. That's gonna actually really work well. So um, that's gonna be your main stuff right there is, you know, you're gonna to wanna to look for, you know, Cloisters, anything with a good ice attack, it's gonna be what you wanna look for. So they actually say picking Rayquaza counters is not very hard since Rayquaza is double weak to ice, like we were discussing, and weak to fairy, dragon, rock type moves. The only thing to be wary during a Rayquaza's raid is Rayquaza's monstrous attack, which is stronger than Kyogre and Groudon and almost on par with Mewtwo. This is actually kind of scary right here because have you ever been hit by a Kyogre Hydro Pump? I mean, it is devastating. A Kyogre Hydro Pump just flatlines pretty much anything that's there. <laughs> so if this is stronger than that, then we might be in trouble. But like the Mewtwo raids, because Mewtwo has such low, you know, the EX raids with Mewtwo, Mewtwo is actually very easy to beat. It's not a hard Pokemon to defeat because it just dies so fast. So I have a feeling that Rayquaza may be like that, um, depending on, you know, how it goes. I don't think Rayquaza is going to be as weak on defense as Mewtwo. Maybe it is. But uh, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to see tomorrow when we actually raid for one. Now counters based on Rayquaza's move set: uh, Dragon Tail, Air Slash, Flying, Outrage Dragon, Aerial Ace, Flying, Ancient Power, Rock. Okay, so Rayquaza's counters fall into two categories: and the ones that you can use versus Outrage, and the ones that you can use versus Ancient Power. Outrage will devastate all Dragon type counters. While Ancient Power will do the same to Ice, especially Articuno. To sum up the counters for Rayquaza different movesets versus Outrage, Articuno, Jinx, and the rest of the Ice counters versus Ancient Power, Dragonite, not Articuno, Kyogre, then Ice counters versus Aerial Ace, more or less any good count, any counter is good. Given a good setup, you can tear through Rayquaza like a Snorlax in an all-you-can-eat restaurant. <laughs> That's funny. And then they actually have a good chart here that actually describes, you know, what's the best IVs with weather boosted and non-weather boosted. Obviously, you're not going to have this information on hand with you, but the main two important things to remember is 100% CP non-boosted is 2083, and a weather boosted one is 2604. Those are the two that you mainly have to remember. Anything close to that, is going to be a good one, obviously. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for the video. If you dislike this video, hit that dislike button. But if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Get subscribed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.